Late this afternoon, a jury ruled against former President Donald Trump, saying he should pay E. Jean Carroll $83 million for defamation. Bradley Blackburn explains what happened in court. A New York jury took just a short time reaching its decision in the civil defamation case against former President Donald Trump, brought by writer E. Jean Carroll. The nine-person jury awarded Carroll $83.3 million in damages. Friday, Trump walked out of the courtroom as Carroll's lawyer delivered her closing argument. Carroll's attorney asked the jury for $24 million in compensatory damages for her client, plus whatever amount in punitive damages that will make Trump stop defaming her, arguing that he continued to defame Ms. Carroll even as this trial was ongoing. In a related lawsuit last spring, a different jury found that Trump sexually abused Carroll in the mid-90s and held him liable for defamation, awarding Carroll $5 million. During her closing argument, Carroll's lawyer pointed out the former president did not attend that sexual assault trial, and she claimed he attended this trial because of the money at stake. Trump did return to the courtroom to hear his attorneys make their closing argument. The former president's attorney told jurors that Trump told the truth when he refuted Carroll's claims. In a social media post Friday, Trump called it a one-sided trial, where the other side is allowed everything and we are allowed nothing. A day earlier, Trump took the witness stand for just a few minutes, testifying that he 100 percent stands by his deposition, in which he claimed not to know Carroll and called her mentally sick. Trump's attendance at the trial follows big victories over GOP rivals in the New Hampshire primary and Iowa caucuses as he campaigns to secure the Republican presidential nomination. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. Trump responded to the verdict in a statement saying he will appeal and that, quote, our legal system is out of control, end quote.